Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Late Night Manga Reading Sessions. This time we are reading Uzumaki, called The Scar. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be. Uh, would you like to explain what Uzumaki is about? You know, it's about these two characters who goes through, you know, a series of events where they find themselves in this town. Like, they're, they're living in this town, and then through a series of events, you're going to find strange events happening, and it's going to cause some crazy shit to happen. You're just going to be like, what the hell is going on? Okay. It's all revolving around the spiral. The spiral. I did not want to read this. She convinced me. I don't know how this is going to be like. I'm just going to start. Yeah, you're... The scar. When I started going to Kurozu High School, I made friends with Azami Kurotani. She commuted to school from Miroi Yamashi. She was one of those pretty reserved girls, but now I regret ever meeting her. If I hadn't, she would never have met Shuichi, and we might have prevented what happened. From the day she started school, she was always surrounded by guys. This is for you. Hey, want to go for a ride? Huh. Let's go, Kie. She was obviously used to it. Eat me! <laughs> she was good at giving the cold shoulders. You're so popular. No, I'm not. Oh, come on, you're so pretty. And time, as time went on, a rumor started. Kiri, are you still hanging out with Azami? Uh, yeah. You really shouldn't. Why not? She's got a bad reputation. She uses her looks to get guys. She gets them obsessed and then dumps them. They say she's got a magic power. Magic? Power to attract boys. The secret's on her forehead. You can't tell because of her bangs, but she's supposed to have a scar there. They say that's the source of her power. You better be careful, or she'll end up stealing your boyfriend. Kyrie, the bell rang. Let's go back to the classroom. Sh sure, Azami. Ah, that was good. What's wrong, Kie? Uh, oh, well, the scar. They were talking to you about it, weren't they? They're just idiots. Don't believe them. Oh, of course I don't. It's true, though, that this scar means something to me. When I was little, there was this boy I had a crush on. I wanted to impress him so much. So I tried walking on the ropes in the playground. I fell. You know, I fell, and that's how I got the star. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah. Hey, get down here. The funny thing is, we became friends because of that. Wah! I told you so. You okay? I'll go get the teacher. So sometimes, I actually wonder if this scar has the power to attract boys. Ever since I got it, I've had every boy I've ever liked. But, of course, it's just a coincidence. No one has that kind of power. Kirie, wait! Are we going to walk together? I'm sorry, today I have to go to see somebody. Oh, it's your boyfriend, right? Huh? I knew it! Shuichi, Saito, doesn't he go to Miroi Yama High School? I might have seen him at the station without knowing it. What's he like? Why don't you introduce me to him? I want to meet him right now. Uh, alright, if you want to. But, but what? He hasn't, he hasn't been to school lately. Really? Why? He had a horrible experience. 
ex experience, yes. He, th he lost both his parents recently. Oh. I was reluctant to let her see to meet Shuichi, but she insisted on it, so I gave in. Hello? Shuichi, are you here? Hey. Come on in. Shuichi, this is my classmate, Azami Kurotani. Hello? Call me Azami. Uh, hello. Huh? You're... What's wrong, Suichi? Go away! It, it's you! Go away! And don't ever come again! I'm sorry, Azami. He's been so strange. Oh, don't worry about it. He seems stressed. But she looked pale. And hardly ever... And hardly said a word on our way home. Hello, Suichi. It's me, Kirie. What's wrong with you today? You shocked a zombie. Why did you treat her like that? Kirie, you don't feel it? What? What? <laughs> Sorry. There's something mesmerizing about her. It's like, it's like looking down from a high place. Like vertigo. It's like looking into a spiral. You have to watch out. She's a spiral. Suichi? Sam. Spiral. She's a spiral. She's contaminated by the spiral. Ding. Huh? Ding, ding. Who could it be at this hour? Shh. Ah, what are you doing here? You're the first boy I've ever, I've ever met who treated me like this. What is it about me that you don't like? Just go away. Get out of get out of Kurozuto. I will not. Every boy I've ever met has fallen for me. How could you reject me? Why? There, you. You're hiding something on your forehead. Forehead? You mean my scar? So Kirie told you. No, it's not a scar. It's a spiral. I can feel it. What do you mean? It's a crescent-shaped scar. Thanks to this scar, I've never had problems with love. See? I knew it. Take a look at the mirror by the entrance. It's no crescent. It's a spiral. What? what? I don't... Maybe it used to be shaped like a crescent, but then the ends start growing and form that spiral. It's all because of this place, Kurozucho. This town is contaminated with spir spirals. Go to school in Midori Yamashi. Get out of the town as fast as you can. Instead of heeding Shuichi's warning, Azami Kurotani talked her parents into renting an apartment for her in Kurozucho. Night after night, she visited him. Shuichi, open the door! Please, I've never felt this way before. All the boys I knew couldn't stop thinking about me. But now I know what it feels like. I can't stop thinking about you! Azami... I don't want you visiting Suichi anymore. He doesn't l want you around. Besides, he's my boyfriend. I won't. I like him too. I'll make him care about me. Ooh. Ah! Ew. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! I told you, it's a, it's a spiral. It's disgusting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Azami, <laughs> you, this... your forehead. Shh. Azami, stop. Azami, Azami, it's me, Okiera from Class C. Please go out with me. Leave me alone. I told you no. I know you did, but I'm so drawn to you. 
I, f I have to be near you. I can't help it. It's like I'm being sucked in. Azami stopped coming to school the next day. I stopped by her student apartment, but no one answered the door. I could tell she was in her room, though. What happened to her forehead? It looked like a spiral digging to her skull. But how can that be? I must have been hallucinating. Then, several days later... Ring, ring. Hello? Okay, it's me, Suichi. Do you know someone named Okada? Okada? Who's he? I see. He just gave me a phone call. He says he wants to talk to me about you. He's meeting me at the park. Sounds like he has a crush on you. What? I don't know about this. I see. Alright then. Hey. What is going on? What's this all about? This park must be the one. Maybe my father should have come with me. Oh, I don't like the look of this. <laughs> Why, that's... That must be Asami. Asami! It's you, right? As you can see, her... One of her eyes are covered. Uh. <laughs> I knew it! What's going on? I was so worried about you. Kie, I feel strange in my left eye. I can't seem to focus. Can you take a look? Oh god! Ew! God damn it! Can you read this? <laughs> Deal with it. It's the only one that's not as gross as the other ones. Oh. Uh, what's this all about? Just hold on. She'll be here any minute. No. See, here she comes. Oh, who's Kirie? My bad. <laughs> you missed that one. <laughs> oh, all right. I bought you Suichi Psycho, the Saito, like you asked. Now you'll go out with me, right? No, I have no use for you anymore. Go home. But what? But you promised. You said if I brought him, you would go out with me. Ha, ha. I don't care about my promises. I just wanted to see Suichi. Wha what? You lied to me. <laughs> this is back. Snap! <laughs> right across the face. Oh, you. Hey, 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 uh, Azami, what, what happened to you? Hey. Is, is that bone? Don't touch it. <laughs> he did it. Yeah! Huh? Who was that? Shuichi? Where are you? Can you hear me? Kirie, over here. What are you doing up there? Okada just got sucked in. He's gone. Now she's going to vanish too. Look. What? She's been consumed by the spiral that appeared on her body. Look. Look what's happening. Azami Kurotani was devoured from head to toe without leaving a trace. Behind. Yes. Well, that was uh, somewhat disturbing. At least it's better than the one she read to me last time. Alright, thank you for joining and us for the one? session. You mean... And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. We hope you come and join us again. Yep. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good night.